Hey everybody, Caleb with Almond Landscape here and Zeke today. We're at a client's property to check out a supposed army worm infestation. Don't know, we'll see. This is a client we've taken care of for a long, long time. And uh, here's our damage. And we're gonna start doing some investigating here to see. I'm now not convinced this is army worm, but I don't know. I'm, I used to, Boy, it's wet back here. Boy, it's wet back here. We really need to do some trench drain work back here. We installed that putting green years ago. First one we ever did. The seam didn't used to show like that. Bear with us, folks. Um, pool's getting installed. Neighbor's house. We're going to do landscaping around that. Uh, golly, the yard is wet. Holy cow. Okay, so I'm going to look around here and see. Now, generally where the damage is is where they're not anymore. They're going to be where... Uh, they've moved on right they're feeding on new turf so we're gonna see see what we can find you see any crazy worms ziggy i saw one that went into a tiny cave you did for real let's see this tiny cave zeke i forget it oh you lost the hole hey there's something right there huh what is oh, it there's a, there's a bug of some kind ah! Um, okay, well, let's keep looking at all this nut sedge right here. It's crazy. It always is so wet through here. And, uh, Daddy, what's this? Well, that's a plant called nut sedge. Hey, what's this? Oh, Okay, so there's a moth. That's indicative if it's in, because they have different larval stages. Well, not larval, but, uh, you know, different stages, right? So they'll be in egg, caterpillar, moth, instar, you know, all that stuff. I forget. I used to be up on this stuff. I'm not anymore. I can't remember any of it. Um, yeah, and so, so far, no grubs. But again, they've generally moved on from the dead area because they're feeding somewhere else, right? So there's some earthworms there. I always like seeing earthworms. But golly, is it wet. Holy crap. I think the irrigation's up way too high for starters. Um... So, we're, we have, we subcontract a company to do the treatment on this place, and we subcontract a company to do all the um, lawn maintenance here too. <laughs> and uh, and nobody caught this, which is a shame. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off the camera and actually do some real real digging here. But that's the second moth now. So if the yard's full of moths, that generally indicates, uh, you know, something else is going on. So, so here we go. I'm no army worm expert, uh, but I am getting some good advice from Mr. John Pajak, the turf tamer. Check him on Instagram at John Pajak. We're filling a bucket full of uh, water and some dish soap, and we're going to dump it in the areas we believe to be causing issues. This is another client of ours we're having a pool put in. We'll be doing poolscape around that eventually here. That'll be cool. But we're going to dump this in there, and this will draw those those worms up out of the ground. So as soon as we get uh, get this going, we're going to uh, do this test, and we'll see what happens. All right, so now we're getting nice and full. Whoa, yeah. That's deep. Well, it's five-gallon bucket. Yeah, buddy. Okay, cool. So all right, so we're going to do that. And Zeke, let's find... Zeke, you can pick the first place to treat. You tell me where you want to do this. I did call my treatment company, and they're actually going to be out tonight, thank goodness. And uh, so pick your place in the yard, Zeke, where you think they're at, bud. Um, where you think there's worms. I think, I think they're in where the most grassy part is. Like where the most grassy Okay, pick your point. Right here. Right here? All right. All right, here we go. And supposedly they'll come up out of the ground here. Any any moment now? You watch right there, Zeke. I see nothing. It's the dirt. Yeah, well. Here come the worms. But they're coming. Earthworms right? are like, ah, get me out of this. That is that one right down there. I think that's an earthworm. That's a slug. <laughs> yeah, sluggy slug. Let's find a place with a little bit of damage. Right. Yeah, let's go like right here. At least my hands are gonna be clean this way, huh, Zeke? Yeah. My, my hands are already clean. They are? Okay, well that's good. 
All right, well, nothing popping up out of the ground here. And that may be because these things are in, uh, you know, larval stage where they're, you know, uh, like those pupa we found, uh, you know, they're just not going to come out of the ground now because they're just in the pupa stage. So uh, it's hard to say what, what we're going to run into here. But so far, not super convincing, is it, Zeke? Let's pick one more place. Let's do, like, kind of... Let's go up on the outer edges up here. How about where you were digging? Let's do, let's do right here, Zeke. I think we... Yeah, let's go, like, right here. Whoa. And nothing. No dice. Now look at that earthworm come jumping out of there. He's like, get me out of here. I hope the earth, uh, I hope the army worms don't crawl in. You gonna crawl right in your pants or something? Wouldn't that be crazy? Yeah. Okay, let's... Hey, I found something. Oh, look at that earthworm jumping out of there. Well, we know the earthworms went out of there. So if there were army worms in there, I'm presuming they would jump out too. Yeah. And we'll do this one as our last, our last ditch effort. Here we go. Okay, here we go. We'll see what happens here. So we'll let that go into the ground here. We'll give it a minute. Mm, there's something working. Earthworm coming out of the ground. That's where do we get them out of the water? We could, we could pick them up and throw them out just to be kind to him there get him out good luck mr earthworm i don't know if that soap actually hurts him or not mm, there's another earthworm so i'm not convinced we're here in time for uh army worms i bet you they're in their next stage of life would you agree zeke you concur yeah okay oh so, isn't that crazy any army worms in your yeah we don't want army worms in our pants so Okay, folks, so I guess that's that. My uh, treatment company got a hold of us. They're going to come back up, or they're going to come tonight, actually, and treat. Uh, we saw that property. They're going to come in. And uh, what, Ziggy? Nothing. Nothing? Worms. No army worms? Well, so be it. Um, but we but you can see some, like, right here. there's another one of those lar this pupa. So we believe this to be a, uh, a larva there. Or pupa, I'm sorry. I, don't, I can't remember the life cycles. Uh, but uh, I guess in the comments, if you know, let me know. I need to do some, obviously, some internet searching. But we believe that to be the pupa there. So, um, and I saw about four mods earlier, so I'm kind of guessing that's a deal. But you can see all the damage here is pretty crazy. Uh, so that's that. So, Zeke, here you go. This is why I think it's important to have a basic knowledge of anything in the green industry, frankly, to, to be well-rounded, to provide a better service for your clients. We put markups on the services that come and treat here. So... Uh, you know, we're being compensated that way, but, um, you know, again, our clients, they're like, hey, can you take care of this? And we say, yeah, we're going to take care of it because they're good clients. It's just somebody else we didn't know. It's just a cold call from, you know, whatever cold lead. We, we wouldn't, we would say, hey, call so-and-so and good luck. Uh, for my clients that we like and, and love and appreciate, we're going to go the extra mile as best we can for them. So, okay, well, that's that, folks. So that's uh, Army Worm 101, I guess, best we understand it. Why don't I have triaxle dump trucks yet? Like, what am I doing wrong? Or why don't I have big contracts like that? And like, what am I doing wrong? And I, and I play those games in my own head sometimes. And then I've, I've got to clear that headspace out and realize like, we're doing, you know, we are doing us.